Ever since the new iPad Pros came out, I've been wanting to do more handwriting when it comes to notes and journaling and things like that. And now that the Apple Pencil has a dedicated space to be charged and stored, it's a lot more convenient. Don't get me wrong, the previous generation was great, and most of what we're going to talk about works with that perfectly. But before we get into this video, a quick note. I know my handwriting's terrible. It's really bad. But I'm the only one that has to read it, so it's okay. When I knew I wanted to start taking more handwritten notes, I started looking for an app that could cover all my needs. The first thing on my list is I needed it to be versatile. That means I wanted to be able to have all my handwritten notes in one place. Also the ability to change different templates and backgrounds, stuff like standard rule pieces of paper or something blank for sketching. Second, I wanted to be able to mark up PDFs. This is how I edit all my scripts. Third was a good ink engine and a good set of tools to use with the Apple Pencil. The app that covered all three of these was GoodNotes. When you open GoodNotes for the first time, it takes you to the Documents tab of the app. Here is where all of your notebooks live. The best way to approach GoodNotes is to think of this as a bookshelf for your individual notebooks. Here you can create notebooks for subjects, jobs, life events, whatever you want. You can create folders for more organization of your notebooks as well. Tapping on the new option gives you the menu of everything you can create in GoodNotes. This includes things like notebooks, folders, and quick notes, and the ability to import images or a document. When you create a new notebook, you get the Create New Notebook page. This opens up and gives you the ability to customize the notebook. Now, nothing you pick here is set in stone and you can change anything later. Here you can pick the kind of paper template you'll be using in the notebook. This includes paper types like ruled, both narrow and wide, dotted paper, square paper, and just about anything else you can think of. You can also change the paper color to either yellow or white. Once you have the paper type selected, you can change the cover of the notebook to make things stand out a little differently than your other notebooks. There's so many different options to pick from for covers. Once you have the cover picked up, just title your notebook and hit create. It'll then take us to the first page of the notebook. You can swipe back to the cover page and mark it up, add a name of the notebook, add an image, and do just about anything you want to customize it. On top of all that, you can also import your own paper templates. Go to the main screen and go into settings, then notebook templates. Select the import option to bring in your own template to use. I would recommend making this a PDF format. On this screen, you can select the new notebook default paper type. Sometimes you just want to write down a little bit of information that doesn't call for a whole new notebook. This is where I use quick notes. Hit the new button and select quick note. These can be multiple pieces of digital paper, but I find one just works best. You can quickly jot down everything that needs to be written. This may come as a total surprise, but this is a great way of taking a quick note. I use these for quick checklist, especially if I'm traveling or preparing for something that has a lot of dependencies. I try to keep just the essentials. Most of the time when I'm finished with the quick note, I'll open up Apple Notes and type out everything that I need to keep. This makes it a lot easier to read in the future. Then I just delete the ones I don't need anymore so it doesn't get out of hand and I have a ton of stuff in good notes. I also have a shortcut that will quickly launch into Quick Notes. With widgets being on the home screen soon of iPad OS, this is really handy. One of the big benefits of using GoodNotes is you can use their wonderful ink engine. The ink engine is how writing on the digital piece of paper reacts to the Apple Pencil and how it looks on the page. GoodNotes is the closest I found to true pen and paper while still being digital. If you long press on a pen tool, you'll see multiple options to pick from. Here you can pick different styles of pens to choose from. I personally prefer fountain pens. If you long press on any other tools, you'll see a menu and have the ability to customize them. And if you have the new Apple Pencil, you can double tap to get different tools. I keep mine on the default option so I can quickly go to the erase tool and then get back to what tool I was using. Going back to the notebook, you can see I have all sorts of different categories. One I write in every day is the journal notebook. This is mostly things I want to work on for that day. I like to mix it up a bit with each page. Sometimes I write things out, other times it's bulleted list, other times it's mind maps. What's great about GoodNotes over pre-printed notebooks is that I can change the paper type at any time. So I can do all of these different styles with the proper template. Changing the template does not affect any of the previously used pages. I have a shortcut that puts my device on Do Not Disturb for 20 minutes and then opens this notebook. This gives me time to think through what I want to accomplish for the day. This is a great way to start the morning. The next version of Shortcuts, which will come out later this year with iPad OS, will allow me to schedule it to automatically happen at the same time every day. This way, I don't forget to do it. Whenever I get stuck and I'm not sure what I should make a video about, I sit down with GoodNotes and write it out in my Ideas notebook. 
I think the key to all these things is to put your device in Do Not Disturb, but feel free to reach out to other apps. I have a database of ideas in Airtable. I'll bring this over and slide over so I can get a sense of what some of my ideas were in the past. Then I can sit down and write out a plan for a video. When I start a new project, I go to my video projects notebook and add a page to my outline. This gives me the ability to browse through a larger notebook and quickly pull up any previous notes. This is also a great way of building an index for your notebooks, especially if you do something like bullet journals. If you ever need to go back and add a page in between two existing pages, you can. Hit the plus button and then select the page you want to add. You can add it either before or after the current page you're on. This is a major benefit of using digital notebooks. The whole point of using GoodNotes for something like this is so that I can have all my ideas, notes, and work in one place on one device. I can just go anywhere and do anything with my iPad. I never run out of paper, and I have all my tools, apps, and ideas with me. GoodNotes also does an amazing job of handling PDF documents. You can add PDFs by simply sharing them from the share sheet or dragging and dropping the document into GoodNotes. You can also select the import option from the new menu on the main page. But what if it's not a PDF we want to import? I work with a lot of markdown files, mostly in drafts. In the amazing drafts action dictionary, I found a markdown to PDF action. This uses both JavaScript automation that is native to drafts and a shortcut to finish the formatting and pass it on to GoodNotes. Now I've heavily modified this action and I got it from the drafts dictionary, but I'll link to everything you'll need below. Basically, this will take the markdown text, double space it, format it, turn it into rich text. That way it's both easy to read and mark up. Once it's in GoodNotes, I sit down with the Apple Pencil and mark up any changes. Then I can go back and have my original document and my GoodNotes document side by side and fix anything that needs fixing. As I was getting ready to film the B-roll for this video, I actually came up with a whole other idea of using GoodNotes. I exported another copy of my script and sat down with it and wrote out ideas as a shot list next to the lines. That way, as I'm going through the script and filming the B-roll, I have my ideas already ready to go for a shot list next to the script. This way, I don't have to use two separate apps or anything like that. Everything's just in one spot. I go to a lot of meetings. Honestly, probably too many but GoodNotes has a helping hand in getting me through them. With GoodNotes, I can just jot down whatever I feel is important at the time. If we're working on a new project, I can sketch out a diagram for what that's gonna look like as we're moving through it. After the meeting, I feel anything that was worth writing down permanently, I can put in GoodNotes and Apple Notes in Split View. This way I can go through my notes and just write out the important bits of information. This ensures that just the important information lives on and no wrong information gets distributed. Then I can share the notes, if need be, with the other attendees. There are other amazing writing apps to check out with the Apple Pencil too. Notability would be one I'd recommend to students. It has a lot of the same features as GoodNotes, but it also has the ability to record audio. So you can record a lecture while taking notes. The only reason why I use GoodNotes over Notability is I prefer the Ink Engine on GoodNotes. Other than that, it's a great app. Concepts is another one for artists. It has an infinite canvas, so you're not limited to eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. This is great if you really want to map out a large project. And of course there's Apple Notes. The best feature about Apple Notes is something that no third party apps can replicate. Take the Apple Pencil, tap the screen. This will open up a new document and allow you to start writing away. If you wish to have all your type notes and handwritten notes in one place, this is the app for you. So why don't I just use a notebook and pen? Well, with this method, I don't ever have to worry about running out of paper in a specific notebook or not having a pen or the right tool with me. Yes, that would be something I would worry about. With GoodNotes, I can just put everything, all of my thoughts in one app. They're all there. And then later on, I can filter them into Apple Notes or Drafts. I'm definitely going to keep doing this. I really enjoy handwriting notes, even though my handwriting's terrible. I'm really curious what you guys use your Apple Pencil for and if you guys do any sort of handwriting notes on your iPad. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.